guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who are here, who are here for the first time read about me in the description box after my ncs strategy series yes i'm going to make a vlog about how my journey has been in the legal field in canada how i came here and everything that you want to know all the question queries that i'm getting in my inbox and uh, also i would like to discuss that uh, last time i discussed constitution law and foundation law so i would like i suggest that people who are giving the exams for the first time and who've just started their ncs journey should think about giving the admin the consti the consti admin and foundation together maybe because they have overlapping topics or if you want to give them separately as they start with consti go ahead with admin and then uh, step forward towards foundation and thereafter criminal or pr and whatever other subjects that you get so in this order i think you'll be very systematic and uh, you'll know where you're heading to because constitution is as i said it's the law of the land it's very important and uh, then foundation it's theoretical but it's the jurisprudence here and about administrative law it, it is very it, you need the and you need to understand the big picture for admin law which i'm going to explain today i hope you like the video if you like it do subscribe to my channel like and share let's talk about that what is admin law and how does it work in canada administrative law if you know there is a power of the government and of every every democracy there's a power of delegation you delegate the decision making so so happens in canada also you have to delegate some powers to the immigration maybe to the federal bodies to the provincial bodies to the uh, maybe any ministerial body that you can think of because they are the people who will decide the day to day affairs of the country and unke apne statutes hote hain kai admin bodies ke kai ke nahi hote hain kai ke federal hote hain and all of that so all this under a broad category they can be called the administrative law how they have to be very careful with the procedure that they you know in corporate in their day to day life with dealing with people because that is what what if you challenge that that is what is called judicial review of those decisions so this subject has majorly two parts to it first is if you understand the bigger picture first is the procedural fairness and second is the standard of review which the courts use in order to determine has the admin body been fair to the person so these are the two main categories one the procedural the second the standard of review in order to approach this subject i would i had a certain strategy in mind and i am going to explain the same strategy to you guys so when you understand that this has two part to it you will know that there are two main cases now there are three main cases to this topic but when i studied there were two main cases so the two main cases for procedural fairness the first case which is absolutely imperative and important sabse zaruri hai wo is the baker case now i would suggest ki before even starting with your material just go and go through the baker case baker case if you open in the supreme court of canada or on gandhi you will get it very easily and it has been applied in number of cases thereafter i had some five or six synthesis which describe what are the procedural fairness rules that the admin body is supposed to keep in their mind the second part of this whole procedure when you're done with the duties and everything that they're supposed to do when you are over with the procedural topic, topics which i think is about 1 to uh, say about 9 in your syllabus is all about procedure then the 10th chapter comes of standard of review now if the admin body goes wrong what do you do if the immigration is wrong say if the immigration is not treating you properly you have some kind of discrepancy with them where do you go which door do you know you go to the federal court so the federal court has the power of judicial review and now what standard of review will the judicial court apply because you know the tendency is that the court will want to give the admin body some kind of weightage yes they want because obviously they have given the sta the statutory laws has given them power the appeal power is with them everything is with them now they want to know that what should we do the as a federal court wants to know what should we do what standard of review should we apply should we apply reasonableness should we apply correctness or what are the other uh, whatever the standard of review should be earlier during my time it was dunsmer now dunsmer has been overruled and it has been specifically mentioned in your syllabus now that it effective from may 2020 
do not mention dunsmere if you mention dunsmere dunsmere is the bad law it's a it's a gone law it's a old law do not mention dunsmere case mention valvelov or mention bell canada i would suggest go through the judgments valvelov is a very big judgment do not go through the whole of it go through the facts of it and go to the standard of review part now you will get the whole jurisprudence you will get everything in the standard of review if you go through valvelov and if you go through bell canada you are done with the standard of review also then after reading these major judgments and after understanding that what exactly the procedure of admin body has been in canada and what is the jurisprudence for administrative law in canada i suggest now you start with your notes the first chapter may be dealing with admin law in general and everything that what do they do what are the powers then you will have these baker synthesis separately you will have to discuss topic wise they are in the syllabus but they have the cases mentioned along with that so refer to the cases in which these cases has been these major landmark cases have been applied they have mentioned that in the syllabus go through those judgments along with the topics so as long as you are reading the topic go through the judgment judgment along with it it will be very really helpful for you but never in admin law get into miscellaneous extraneous details do not get into that you will get lost into that always have the big picture in mind so i would also suggest once you are done with your syllabus and once you are done with your reading go to the federal court of canada website then you can go and read some judgments some recent decisions and you will know how they you know defer to the uh, defer to the administrative body or defer to the decision that the lower court has taken so you will understand some kind of application of this administrative law i suggest this is quite useful and it would help you a lot also if there is something i would ex, uh, tell you that try and un- try answer writing one by one so once you're done by procedural fairness go ahead and do answer answer writing practice for the procedural fairness topic because that's a separate topic now procedural fairness is over then your mind will be very much sorted and you'll be ready for the next concept to understand because there are too there is too much information to digest so once you're done with the procedural fairness go to the standard of review then once you're done with standard of review uh, try and answer writing that separately then after that the last chapter i think the last topic is remedies so once the court has determined okay the admin body was not right in gear uh, that decision then you can go ahead and find the remedy there are many types of remedy there is pecuniary remedy monetary remedy damages there is reinstate of that person so whatever remedy uh, is uh, you know available and whatever the court deems fit so you can try and read about that so the last chapter is remedies once you are done with all these these this this is basically administrative law and uh, you will have many constitution parts overlapping with it so that will be really helpful if you know the constitution before admin what tip in admin law is that once you are reading the judgment the way the law has been applied to the facts jo test hai jaise jo baker test hai ya jo synthesis hai wo facts ke sath kaise apply kare wo jo language hai wo beauty hai so you need to read that and aapko apna jo answer karna hai basic first time you are looking at the judgment and answering because paper mein you don't really get that much time that you can open the book and you look at it until your notes are very extremely well flagged and that too whenever you can't refer every question you can refer one say one question in five four five questions so in in that case i suggest ki aap wo application fact pe bahut zyada dhyan do you should know ki how the test has been applied to the facts because that is the thing that is going to fetch you the maximum marks so you have to uh, read the test and you have to know the test by heart or at least at least in your language and then you have to apply it to the fact this synthesis of applying and the synthesis of uh, using the test is very important and the i think one of the most important things that you can do in admin law is this you can you should know the baker five factors of baker what are the synthesis of baker synthesis and how does it apply to judgments thereafter then you should know about uh, the standard of review then remedies the another do- important topic that obviously like in constitution like in foundation is aboriginal and the duty to consult so they have the government has a duty to consult the aboriginal people whenever they are doing something which is abridging their rights or anything like that so and so on and so forth there is so much so much to read in this but go topic wise have a bigger picture in mind do not get into minute details and i am sure you going to pass this exam make one 
PR, I'm going to make one criminal law, both of them, and I'm going to upload them soon. And then after I'm going to start my vlog about, uh, I'm going to finish this NCS strategy series, and I'm going to start my vlog how my journey has been, how I came, whatever happened with me. So I'm going to share some, uh, maybe some mistake that I did, which I do not want you people to do. And uh, yeah, all these all these vlogs will follow up soon. So you stay tuned subscribe to my channel and if any question query or concern get in touch with me on the comment section or get in touch with me on linkedin instagram everything is in the description box i hope you guys are at home stay home stay inside and take care of yourself and your loved ones bye